For a number of years we've been running workshops for teachers as part of their formal professional development. So we invite teachers to the art gallery and we invite them in to spend a day here with us at the gallery, with the collection, with the exhibitions, but probably most importantly with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists. And we work with them very closely and I hope gently to kind of shift an idea about how Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art can be catalytic, can be transformative in the classroom. So we look closely at the work of artists and we bring the artists into that dialogue to really have an artist-led experience. The response to those workshops has been so incredible. We've had hundreds of teachers engaged that we decided to make a resource, one that you could hang on to in the classroom, where you could use this particular publication as a springboard for further learning. The publication really gives you a great starting point for ideas for uh, International Women's Day, Reconciliation, Book Week, Science Week, so it's across many different subject areas. It's not just for the visual art teachers, but it's a really, a real big confidence boost for teachers and the whole book really gives you ideas on um, what questions you need to be asking yourself that then you can address in your classroom in a really sensitive and authentic way with your students. We want students to be able to understand their world, what message the artist says, but then put it into a new context in their artworks. We have had almost 500 teachers participate. It's the impact of that on students now and in the future is exponential and really incredible. We hope that we are changing the way that teachers feel confident and comfortable bringing new content, bringing truly Australian stories, stories about this place to their students.